talking about some of the questions from delhi university entrance examination for psychology now here the first question talks about the basics of equity theory the people are motivated when they find themselves in a situation of unfairness whereas a person receives less than uh, the person's beliefs based on the efforts or the contribution and this is the equity theory propounded by adams so adams equity theory would be the right option here the idea is uh, to bring about productive relationship with the management and bring in uh, individual satisfaction and uh, focus on hard skills and skill addition the next is attribution theory now attribution theory focuses on three aspects those are consensus uh, distinctiveness and consistency so that is the correct option this concept was propounded by kele herold kele and under this attribution theory he explained why actually people and we ourselves behave in certain specific manner so our way of behaving would change whether you are in a group whether you are as an individual or whether you are in your close knit circle so that particular way Uh, which is considered both in terms of social and self perception is considered on these three parameters which is consensus distinctiveness and consistency the next is when we talk about understanding the results that can be generalized to other population so this is an external validity so when i am talking about other population it is external validity and if it is specifically only about other settings we call it as ecological validity so in this case external validity is the answer now validity reliability and usability are essentials of test standardization of test in psychology very very important topic off and on be it any entrance examination be it uh, du applied psychology du psychology amu psychology or any other uh, psychology entrance examination these are some of the specific questions asked in all of those we have covered these concepts separately so just go back and refer these very very carefully now degree of freedom when it says column minus 1 and row minus 1 so these the horizontal ones are the rows the vertical ones are the columns so column minus 1 and row minus 1 would explain the multiplication of those would explain the degree of freedom in case of chi square test now chi square test is used to evaluate the independence uh, and degree of freedom basically helps you to evaluate the uh, independence uh, of for the test that is there the next is carol gilligan uh, departs from kohlsberg theory on moral development by focusing on just ethics of justice now ethics of justice is one of the terms that has been used by gilligan which mainly talks about the morality of justice now when he says morality of justice he says that this is a measure of the right of people and chooses a solution to work on uh, the damages that have been called uh, caused so far and this focuses more on personal relationship so ethics of justice is the right option in case of the gillian's theory the next answer the next question talks about tuckman now tuckman's stages are interesting so he talks about a concept where you are in the various stages which is uh, forming storming norming performing and then finally uh, it is the stage of disbandment or uh, just neutralizing or adjourning so uh, the stage where one begins to have a collective role rather than an individual role and there is role differentiation for each of the group members is the performing stage so the norming stage is the stage where a person starts to resolve the dispute the forming stage is the first initial stage where different people come together they don't know one another then you have the norming stage where a uh, resolution of the differences actually occur uh, under the norming stage then under the performing stage there is as we said uh, a collective decision role differentiation actually occurs uh, collection of individuals is the more focus rather than individual itself and finally there is disbandment of the project and a adjourning stage so those are the hierarchies that we have seen under the tuckman's theory of social group formation the next is in certain social situations individual lose their sense of identity when they are in group this is known as deindividualization that means the individual do not know or do not have uh, a difference in 
oneself or cannot identify oneself the uh, this is understanding the level of analysis uh, which is somewhat different from the group behavior and therefore we call this as de-individualization. The next is behavior emitted spontaneously or voluntarily that operates on the environment to change is known as operant behavior. Now this is something that we have already covered in detail in our lectures so just go back and talk, uh, refer more about operant behavior. The next is the latency stage of Erickson's development model. Now Erickson's eight stages of development, very, very important. Off and on you have questions from those eight stages. Industriousness and inferiority is the stage which is the latency stage. So that's the correct option here. The next is the Goldman's theory. Now Goldman talked about emotional intelligence. We have discussed emotional intelligence again in one of the separate lectures. So I definitely recommend you to uh, check out that. So here you have self-awareness, social awareness, empathy, self-management and relationship management as the key essentials. So you would have self-awareness, self-motivation, self-management, empathy and social skills as the key aspects. Impression management is not required, so that is incorrect. And other enhancement does not make sense, so the only correct option here would be three. So those were some of the kind of questions that were part of your DU psychology entrance examination. Uh, moreover, all the questions of your entrance examination have been discussed at uh, the doorstep tutor you have all the previous year papers that are available there for more details and practice definitely go through the questions and this would give you an insight as to what is the correct way for preparation for your entrance examination we have covered a lot of topics in psychology would be covering many more in future so stay tuned stay subscribed have a wonderful day ahead